Okay, let's head over to Q13 Fox News Chief Meteorologist Walter Kelly in the Weather Center. And Walter, it's almost spring, but not quite feeling like it yet. Yeah, that's right. We got about uh, five more hours. Booked a bunch of vans. No surprise. Everybody was so upset when that place closed. Yeah, no, Walter's played with yeah. them. So oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Beastie yeah. Boys there. Oh. Some sweet. That place Beastie is sweet. Boys. Cool. Yeah. No. It's, it's so <laughs> sad when places like that close that have so much history and there people just go. have that's such a good time. So, yay. It's open stronger and better and mild temperatures to boot. That's so, right. let's get out there Very and show nice you. Job. Tonight in Vegas, Manny Pacquiao became the first fighter ever in the sport of boxing to win seven titles in seven different weight classes by beating Miguel Cotto tonight in 12 rounds. Cotto was knocked down twice. Fight was stopped 55 seconds into the 12th round. 12 rounds. These guys are nuts. I know John, our director, is excited. He yeah, was rooting we, for him the whole way. We won't say why, but yeah. it was a good thing. I think he bet some money <laughs> with another coworker. Hey, it's going to be wet tomorrow, tomorrow night, and into Monday. I got to tell you, I was hoping for enough of a break for the <laughs> snow to melt in my cul-de-sac. It's on yeah. the main streets are not too bad, yeah. but in these neighborhoods, it is, it's still pretty bad. It's really amazing how long the snow has been yeah. staying on the ground, and I've got more snow to talk about. Something has changed here because it's just, you know, I usually talk about this about two or three times a year not for three or four straight weeks. It's not good when your rain is going in all different directions yeah, on your it's traffic. Ugly. It's going to be bad. All right, thanks, all right. Walter. You can wake up. We've been talking about this uh, parade that's been forming outside. Q13 Fox News reporter Susan West, she is on the phone. She is standing by, I think, uh, Pike and Broadway. Is that where you are, Susan? That's right. It's live in Seattle tonight, thanks. And that leads into a very important yeah. question, Ron, that you picked up on here. Greg War leading a Tuesday, leading today in 16 counties, including seven counties that she lost in 2004. Maybe a little insight as to why she's declaring victory. Yeah, right there, because those seven counties... I'm the governor. Stuff. Yeah. All right, Ron, uh, CR, thank you so much for joining us. They're going to be up early again at 5.30 <laughs> for Q13 Joyous. Fox News with Mark, Lily, MG, and Adam. So join them in the morning and check out the latest news on Q13Fox.com. Thank you so much. It was an honor to be with you tonight. Good night. Good night. Good night. very involved in this. This is Rich here. Rich Purser with Suquamish Clearwater Casino Resort. Not Snohomish, not Sammamish, Suquamish. We got that right. And we've been seeing you up on the tote board, so we all had to learn. But you, let's start out first, because this is a two-phase deal here. Let's start out first with uh, what you have in your hand there. What do you got? Has your New Moon t-shirt come in yet that you ordered? A special to order? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, not no. yet. Back order. I huh? thought that was going to be my Christmas I'm present. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm you sorry. ruined the surprise I... for me. What am I going to do now? I know. I let all the right. cat out of the bag. Well, let's talk about weather. Um, a lot of messy stuff. And now a local group who saw the terror firsthand is reaching out for change. And that group says 10 years has not made enough of a difference, and the proof is going on right now in Switzerland. The rioters. At least one local company is commemorating the riot anniversary with a new product. Elliott Bay Brewery says on Monday they'll tap two kegs of organic Riot X. It continues through December 30th. That, that, that dress alone has to weigh like 40 pounds. <laughs> so just the fact that she was moving in that dress is impressive. She held up her snacks in her head. Props she to got MJ. That no was kidding. Impressive. Well, there's going to be lots of people out moving tomorrow morning. Uh, thousands of folks through the streets of Seattle for the marathon. Yeah. Looks like we have a pretty good day for the marathon, too. Yeah, you know, we really did.